Hello guys and gals, welcome to How to Smartphones review video of the Tech 21 Evo Check Active Edition case for the Samsung Galaxy S8. And before I get started, I would just like to take a quick second and thank Tech 21 for giving me this opportunity to review their product. So thank you guys, I appreciate it very much. And for, for those of you guys that are already using Tech 21 products, go ahead and let me know which device you are using them with in the comment section below. So if you guys would like to check out this case, if you guys like it and you want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description below so you can go ahead and click on that there. And one of the biggest things that I look at when I'm buying a case for my device, for any of my devices, is the cost. And in this case, it is a $39.95 for this particular case. And it is sold on the website for $39.95 and the same price on Amazon. The Evo Check Active Edition case comes in two different colors. There is the turquoise, which is the one we will be looking at today, and there's also a clear grayish uh, one as well. So let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the packaging. As we can see, it is very informative. It has lots of information here, up here. There's a Tech 21 branding. It uh, talks about a 3 meter, 10 foot drop test there. Uh, some flex shock and 3 layer drop protection. Uh, Evo Check Active Edition, ultra thin, lightweight for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, as we take a look at the back, we will see that the Evo Check Active Edition uh, brake boundaries, not your phone. It talks about the flex shock, the unique uh, check design and the speckled pattern, and the comfortable access to ports and functions. And it's got some information down here, some reading information. So let's go ahead and open this up, take a look. It's got more information here about the uh, comp composition of the case. It's got some more reading information there. Pretty cool design of the, uh, the packaging. Let's go ahead and slides out just like that. And your case is there. So let's go ahead and take a look at closer look at this case. This case is made up mostly of this silicone, soft silicone material. And this is a flexible outer shell which cushions impact. So if you were to drop your device, it does wrap all the way around. So if you were to drop your device, this takes, I guess, the first layer of defense. And the second layer of defense is a skeletal frame which deflects any force away from your phone. So if you were to drop it, and that's more uh, inside, and that's in between um, this outer surface and the inner uh, part there and the last one is the flex shock as you guys can see right there it does say flex shock and that is this rib type of uh, Look this rib pattern and what it does is a unique impact absorbing material combined with a patented rib construction to absorb any remaining force So that's the third layer of protection. So uh, I would say that there's that uh, Silicone original material and then it's got some uh, harder plastic as you guys can see this doesn't bend as much as it does in the middle so you can see there's more flex and more give there but as far as the rib and then the sides they're a little bit harder to bend and move so let's go ahead and install this guy and see the fit and just like always the way I like to install my phones is the side with the most buttons goes in first so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that the two corners in and once the two corners are in I'm gonna go ahead push forward and press down simultaneously and looks like a little bit out of order there, but I was able to get the phone in the case. And as far as fit goes, let's go ahead and just slide it, see if anything slides. And I don't see any kind of slide. I don't feel any kind of movement. So that's good. Nice snug fit is always a good thing to have. And now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at all of the openings on this case. The first one, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the front and the cover. As we can see, there is the, the, the forehead and the chin, I guess you could call them, uh, the top and the bottom of the case. Uh, they do stick out ever so slightly past the face of the phone. So if it were to slide on a surface, it will not be scratching the uh, screen itself, but it'll be sliding on the top and the bottom. As you can see, there's not much protection around the edges. The screen does stick out past the edges of the sides of the phones just because of the uh, some of the features that come off the edge. So they did create that case if you were to use that. So let's go ahead and move over here to the next side. As we can see that that corner is a little bit built up. It does have an extra bit of uh, cushion there. And there is the volume up and down buttons with the Bixby button. As you guys can see that they do stick out ever so slightly past the edge of the phone, which is always nice. So if you're just going handling your phone, you can always find the buttons fairly easily. I always like it when they do that. And the buttons are tactile. They do function uh, fairly nice. They do click. So that's always nice. And you can see right through that um, silicone type material and see that interior rib design. And as we look here at the bottom, we will see that there are openings for your microphone and your speaker down here, your charging port and the headphone jack. As you guys can see, there are openings there for all of them. And none of them seem to be 
um, covering any of the openings, so that's great. Uh, moving on to the next side here, we do have the power button, and just like the volume up and down and Bixby button, it does also stick out over the edge of the phone, so that's nice. It does have that click uh, as well, so the nice uh, nice buttons that work and function properly. That's always a good plus. And at the top, we do have an opening for one of the sensors, so that's pretty cool there. As we take a look at the back, we will see that this silicone material is somewhat transparent. You can see right through to see the color of the device. The opening here at the top, there is the opening, one large opening for the heart rate monitor, the flash camera, and your fingerprint scanner. So the little sensor there. And then at the bottom here, we will see the Tech 21 branding. They do have a little bit of branding going on there. And now I'd like to talk about some of the special features that were used to advertise this case. Uh, the first one being that the silicone feel. Uh, the silicone uh, does have a very nice feel. It has, gives it like a grippy, not a sticky, but a grippy feel. Uh, it has a nice feeling in your hand. I do like that. And there are the hard plastic ribs of the interior part to give it that second and third layer of protection. They are, it is an ultra thin case. And I would put this on the uh, medium to thin size cases if I were to rate it so that's uh, pretty nice I'm always looking for the smaller the better the smaller with the more protection um, so it is a lightweight since it is made out of silicone doesn't have much weight doesn't add much weight to the device itself so that's nice once again the three layers of protection that I had mentioned earlier with that 10 foot uh, drop test and then there are comfortable access to ports and the functions so just like all the stuff down here openings large enough to fit any kind of accessories anything like that and now it's time for the pros and cons. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly name off a couple of things that I, I like about the case and something I don't like about the case. The first thing that I like that I kind of caught my eye, got, got my attention, was the feel of it. I like that feel. It's Like I was said earlier, it's not a sticky feel. It's more of a grippy feel. So if your hands are slightly moist, if... Uh, if they're they're completely dry, then it might you might not feel it. But if they're slightly moist, if you've been doing something and you know they're still a little moist, you can definitely feel it once you grab on. It does have that nice feel to it. I like the click of the buttons as well. They do click very nicely uh, with a lot of cases that are made in this fashion. That is not quite the case, so that's always a plus there. The one thing that I that I wasn't a really big fan of on this case is the fact that right down here um, it starts to get really thin, and when you get thin on some of this material, it tends to bend and kind of tweak in whatever way it desires. So just if it was a little bit bulkier, a little bit thicker, uh, some of these thinner pieces won't move around as much, and you might have a, a better fit on the case. And with due time, it may break in, and you might be fine with that. But I have noticed that uh, sometimes it's just kind of hard to get some of these little thinner pieces to uh, sit and lay the way you had liked them. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. If you guys would like to check out this case, I will have that link in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys in this uh, video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. If you guys have any kind of advice, any tips, tricks, anything you guys want to share with me, any kind of feedback, I appreciate it and I welcome hearing it. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.